On the test bench here, okay, it's a kitchen countertop, are two hair dryers. Identical models, identical makes, or so it seems. However, users tell me that one of the two, this one, runs noticeably hotter. I was intrigued and I wanted to find out in this video, I'll share with you my findings by how much is this hotter than this one, as well as what are customers' options because they want to return the weaker one and get another one that's identical to this one. So what are the realities here when it comes to manufacturing? Let me explain the setup on the test bench here. I have a piece of wire that looks like nothing. Well, it's a K-type temperature probe here that is tie wire to this tripod and its position is kind of fixed enough in space. So if I hold the hair dryer here, it will measure thereabouts it will measure midstream the there the temperature of the exiting air from this hair dryer of course if i run it it's going to be noisy so that's how that works the settings on the hair dryer are two fan speeds one and two and then off of course and three heat settings no heat or very little heat some heat and a lot of heat that would be heat one two and three the identical makes and models are these ones and they have identical barcodes everywhere on the packaging with identical item or article number through and through everywhere so my measurements very simply are here on this sheet of paper this one with the green tape is dryer one and the other one is dryer two so three heat settings two speed settings the numbers are different here in especially in heat setting three but in both speed settings so i'm not too concerned about two degrees of difference to be or three to be noticeable but that's a six degree difference that is noticeable by some people so what are the realities here in uh, given these differences in manufacturing well this isn't a microelectronic device there are no computers and no circuit boards by and large there are switches where wires are soldered in place and there's a heater element and there's a fan that's basically it nothing is digital nothing is high-tech so differences in wire diameter in the heater coil or the soundness or quality of soldering of the wire from the switch or at the switches or from the switches to the heater core or heater element if the wires are microscopically narrower at some of these junction points and uh, therefore allow less of the current to flow to the heater coil that can explain these fairly minor differences. So what are the chances of finding another just as hot as this one in the store? Very little. These differences, again, these aren't computer parts. Manufacturing is not really, it's mass produced all right, but it's, again, this is not fine uh, microelectronics. So these differences in wire sizes and, and soldering quality are likely to occur, okay? I wasn't there, I didn't take them apart. I'm not taking any more measurements to check this about the uh, wiring diameters or soldering quality in switches, but this is likely to be the cause for some of these measurements. So I'm not discounting eyewitness or users observations that one is hotter than the other but if you want to return one of them to the store and trying to find another one just as hot as this one chances are uh, good luck now there should be uniformity in manufacturing but to what degree this uniformity uh, happens at, uh, that's up to what are your requirements so those are the realities sometimes in manufacturing. What do you think? Let me know in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching.